death enhanced my nutrition. But how does death enhance your nutrition? Anyone that follows me knows the effort that I put into nutrition. It would be a surprise for you to discover that someone had to die in order for me to wake up to the massive mistake that I was making. A mistake that I'm absolutely sure you are making. A mistake that is slowly eroding your progress. A mistake that is silently killing you. Dieting all the time is extremely frustrating. And all it's doing is making you fatter. My house was booby trapped with my mother's comfort foods. Her love for me flowed through these comfort foods that she left all over the house. Then she died. Now I don't have her or them anymore. I lost her love and I also lost her comfort foods, but I also lost body fat. No one knows the mysterious magic of nutrition better than me. So I rediscovered how to put my mother's comfort foods back into my life and not have to diet like a maniac. This is why people follow me and they learn the magic for themselves. Don't have these comfort foods in the house. Don't have more than one. Make sure that you're fully hydrated all the time because a lot of times when you're dehydrated, you can't tell the difference between thirst and hunger. Make sure that you have enough fats in the foods that you eat so you can have the feeling of satisfaction. Eat sensibly throughout the day, have your meal and move on. Every day that you fuck up your diet, it's going to take you three days to recover. And you don't have to lose a loved one. You just have to lose the foods that are causing your problems. If you like it, share it.